Hey guys, in this episode, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, which is investing in yourself, which just happens to be the best investment you will ever make. Let's go. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey guys, continuing to do my walk here as I record some more podcasts for you. Just had an amazing spinach pastry feta thing that is just absolutely glorious. Um, I hope you can taste how good it is through this podcast. But I want to talk to you about investing in yourself. Earlier this year, I already went to a conference that probably cost me at least $1,500 um, to educate myself. Um, but that one uh, conference has already made me probably tens of thousands of dollars just from one idea, from meeting people that gave me ideas, showed me stuff, learning stuff. And this is both, or specifically actually in my music business, my music marketing business. Um, I, I go to a lot of marketing conferences to learn stuff, how to market my music. And it's also similar stuff that I use to market to selling my online courses um, that some of you guys have maybe even purchased. And you know, it's always amazing to me whenever I invest in my mind, my mind pays dividends into my wallet. And I think it's um, Benjamin Franklin who said, and I could be quoting who said this wrong, but I think the quote is, if you will empty your purse into your mind, your mind will empty itself into your purse tenfold. And so the whole principle is this, is it constantly investing into your mind, into your thoughts, and when I was broke and just starting to do this music biz, trying to figure it out, I there was a point in time where I just started reading books and learning and educating myself on the road, like always going to the thrift shops, buying self-help books, rich dad, poor dad, um, you know, six books on motivation, books on money, on marketing. Marketing came later. It was first money, but I, I wish I had studied even more on marketing because if I learned how to market, then I wouldn't have a problem with money. But uh, <laughs> that's a different story. But the whole point is, is you need to continue investing in yourself and continue surrounding yourself with people that want to grow. And I'm going already. I just confirmed to go... Uh, to another conference and to some other uh, online marketing stuff to learn more things um, in, in May. And it's going to cost me thousands more. But I constantly want to be a learner. I never want to arrive, especially me being a teacher and a trainer myself. I got to stay sharp. I got to stay on point. And I just want to grow. You know, I, I started reading a book the other day and it was amazed on what I learned. And it just reminded me of why I can never think I have fully arrived. And I think someone said, I think it was Jim Rohn who said something like that, like if you want just a regular life, you know, just do, you know, your your education and your your, your post-education, but if you want to be like super rich and, and wealthy and killing it, it's all about the self-education afterwards and what you do after, you know, your your, your high school and your, and your college and continuing to invest in your mind and your thoughts and education, and that has just proved so true to me, like straight up like I don't even believe if I could go back I wouldn't even have gone to high school there's no way I would have even gone to high school because they teach you all this useless stuff that you won't that things that they mem get you to memorize and math and trigonometry and physics and all this weird crap that you don't even use you don't even use I haven't even used it once in anything why didn't they teach me economics why didn't they teach me marketing why didn't they teach me how to have courage as a man. Why don't they teach me how to be a husband or how to be, you know, for a woman, how to be a wife, how to be a father, you know, how to do a budget, you know, how to, how to handle things. You know what I mean? And this is all stuff I learned outside of uh, high school. And I definitely, for me, for college, I went to a, a community college um, and I thank God for a friend who uh, I went to this commuter, uh, computer college for about eight months for six months, I can't remember how long it was, and I got my education there, and I remember I got a job really quickly out of there, and it was very specific, and it was very, you know, learned, but, you know, and that got me a great job, and I made some good money, 
<clears throat> there, but it's the self education afterwards that has really, really paid the di- the, the dividends. You know, um, by just continuing to read, to take courses, to go to conferences, seminars, and surround myself with freaking winners, man. Like just being around people that want to, you know, stretch themselves. Like if I was to say to, you know, certain people that I've known over the years. Uh, I would say, and they, and they complain about not, not having money or not having success. I'd be like, dude, your, your goal's not big enough. Your dream's not big enough. And I remember uh, sharing with these people the books that have changed my life and recommended them to them. And do you think they read the books? Of course they didn't, you know? And they wonder why they're getting what they're getting. And you wonder why you're getting what you're getting because you refuse to invest in yourself and your mind and, and grow and go to the next level. And you've got to be willing to pour your purse into your mind. Some people will spend more on their haircuts and on their clothes than they will in their mind. And as my hero Peter J. Daniels says, he's like, your mind is the one thing they can't take away from you. Like, you can go broke, you can have all these things happen, but you've now got the knowledge, you know? And, and, and knowledge is one thing. Knowledge, they say, is power. But I believe it's the, it's the knowledge that's acted on, which is really the power, you know, because you can know things, you can have an idea, but unless you act on it, that's absolutely useless, but you're not even going to have an idea or know what's even possible, like, I'm killing it right now, and things are going great, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, happy to the most extent with with, with things, but I know there's another level, because I see it, I see friends killing it, and see, knowing what's what's possible, and seeing what's happening, it's like, okay, well, what, what am I missing, what are some of the cool tools, what are some of the keys, and it's just kind of like the iceberg mentality. Like we see someone's business, we see someone's success, and it's kind of like the top of the iceberg, right? Where we only see part of it and we think that's part of their business or that's part of how it works. But there's all these systems, there's all these things underneath that we don't see that's moving the dial. I was doing a, a coaching call with one of my students who was just freaking killing it. She's just killing it, just taking action. like. Um, I was doing my inner circle call where I work with someone one-on-one for the month. And after the first call, she just went into action, killing it and getting results right away. And then it was on the next call, I gave her some other ideas uh, for, for, for leverage. And she was like, oh my gosh, Chris, this is so good. This is so good. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go act on this right now. And it was kind of like, you know, she didn't want to just keep talking. She just wanted to go. And it was like, okay, let's say, let's save the time that I have with you and let me just take more action on this and that's what I freaking love is when you know someone's just like okay that's a good idea I'm acting on that right now as opposed to oh that's a good idea and think about it for another month before I act upon it or wait another week it's like no as soon as you get a good idea you need to act upon that and start crushing it and 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 get moving and there's somebody walking across the street right now and they're running and they've got these massive headphones on their head, and they just look so funny. I'm sorry, but it just looks so funny the way they are jogging. It just looks really goofy. Okay, you cannot nearly appreciate that on a podcast, but it was just so funny. I'm just driving home right now. But uh, what I wanted to say was, is like, look, get to the seminars, get the books, get the online courses, get the coaching, save yourself time, save yourself money. And your time is way more valuable than money. You can always make more money, but you cannot make another ounce of time. And if you know there's someone who's killing it and doing it better than you, learn from them, especially if you don't know how to do it. And this is what I want to like drive home as well too, is posting on Instagram making you money every day. Is posting on Facebook making you any money, money every day. I'm not saying you can't um, post on Facebook or Instagram, but I really want you to ask yourself, are you getting measured results? You know, my students that I'm taking through the music selling machine right now, uh, I say to them, look, I want you turning off the Instagram, I want you turning off Netflix, and I want you to deep immerse yourself into this until you get it. And I want you waking up, checking your sales, checking your ads that are running in front of people that are on Instagram and Facebook, instead of you being that person being marketed to, I want you to become the marketer. All right, I want you to become the marketer with so people are seeing your ads selling your music. I'm going to go write an email about this right when I get home, but it's like it's so true. Like we're we're checking these stats that are meaningless, that do not help us, don't help us grow our career. And yeah, there's some people that will say, "Yeah, I'm an Instagram influencer and whatever and 
I'm killing it on Instagram and, and, and Facebook. It's like, okay, that that's fine. But show me, show me your success path to just posting on Facebook and just posting on Instagram and how long that takes you to grow a fan base and actually monetize it. And that's why I teach running ads, investing money, putting a dollar in, getting two, three dollars back and more. All right. I'm all about like, let's put some fuel on this and let's get some freaking action, Jackson. Okay. So anyways, I hope that inspires you. Get the education, get the tools. And of course, you want to join Fanbase University because that's where you're going to get real education in the music biz plus coaching. That's the way I set it up there. So you get the courses and you get the coaching with me every single month. Go to fanbaseuniversity.com and uh, just don't quit. Learn. Go buy a book from a thrift shop. Go get something for a buck if you don't got any money. But start putting money in your mind. Stop wasting it on Netflix. Stop wasting it on clothes that you actually don't need. Stop wasting it on eating out and start putting money into your brain. And then you can spend as much money as you want on Starbucks and food and eating out. I don't look at the bill anymore. I don't worry about it with that stuff anymore because I'm on a different level. There was a time when you better believe I did. I did. I was always looking at the price, looking at how much food's going to cost, you know. Oh, ate out too many times or whatever. It's like, no. Now, because I invested in my mind for so long, now my mind is paying dividends, my friend. So, hey, I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So, if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full-time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.